T1 has control of heaven, and this is really awkward for Zachary, who's just forced to look in a lot of directions. Somehow, Rock is able to get to the Frenzies. Mag is deep enough to find the follow-up, but with 22 HP, it's a leaping target. Does it matter? Dawn couldn't quite connect, and now the pressure's on Skadoodle. Both players remaining are low on HP. There's the jump shots coming out. It's, he's going to have to run to this spike and run it into sight. Does he go for the open plant? Yeah, that's huge. Big mistake coming in. Rocket go for the swing, and there's a lot of util waiting on the other side. They're actually positioned well for this. There's the swing through. They just go for it. Oof. It works out nicely for them as well as they find an early kill, and that'll be a weapon upgrade for Corey, who scoops up the Vandal. Yeah, you definitely saw Tim that was looking to go for the satchel charges inside sight. Nice surprise kill from Baby Bay. So now you fall back from the B site, you try to take this mid control, but you already have the duelist going for a crossfire setup. A fake smoke that allows for these trades to happen, but Baby Bay is going to continue to fight. That's a bit of a problem, though. <laughs> the gravity well sucks him in, but it's okay as they run it down to just Brax, who gets caught in the gravity well, getting shot by the turret, and being ready to execute. Yeah, and Rock is even on an off angle, okay with letting the opponents into the site. But it seems like T1 is choosing to move up towards a ramp instead. Seekers are coming out too from another upgrade as Zachary falls. That's a big heal coming through as well, topping everyone off. Now that they have rope control, this is the right call. I love this maneuver. Great dash there's coming out seconds, from the though. jet. There's a there's a nano swarm down. They're buying so much time. They could cancel this it's round over. right here with a spike drop, and they do. Do they get it onto the site in time? They're not going to get it there. They don't actually get the spike planted. They take a little bit too much time getting through. Mid to behold. I love this angle from Rockus. The problem is there's no escape route. So realistically, Rockus puts himself in a position where when there's too many people coming, not much can be done. A quick shot coming out from the op of Corey, though. Neutralizes one more. That's Corey against Curry. And Zachary playing this angle behind the planter box. You watch it, Give me the There's the knives, and maybe they has some fun with that one. There's Spike the wide swing a. king, Corey, with the op. Brax now the only one left standing with a bulldog and the knives. Slicing and dicing, but runs out of ammunition. The nade going to sit right on the other side of that wall. Did not run away from that one. Even with the leaping target currently over on B, it's just a swarm of utility right outside B main. But they fly out anyway. He has to be careful. Doesn't realize that automatic has swung through the wall and kind of catches him sleeping. And now it's an alt in the other direction. And this one will also prove to be somewhat of an issue if FaZe wants to go through on the retake. He's got Corey trying to spam through, sending damage into that cloud, but not connecting with any targets as of yet. It's actually FaZe with a player disadvantage as the B-side defense fell flat on a five-player rush with a scrape together by. We've got players already moving up. Zachary takes down automatic. Corey going inside the smoke. They have to make a move as time is of the essence. T1 doing it. Right now, a lot of players building up around the corner. Nano Swarm actually provides not only a physical barrier to keep them at bay, but also a visual barrier. Nice swing. But you mentioned it. It was a nice swing, and it's a big pickup as T1... Regains control of the round, four on three. They're moving towards a site that puts all of this on Zachary's shoulders. He's inside the site as they start to make their way through. Not a single kill for Zachary. And the round likely lost. As they try to gain access to this A site, they successfully do so. The two remaining players, Corey left. and Rockus, they have no intense alarm bot, the turret. And there's the ult being popped. Baby Bay is playing this one in mid in a great position. Has to be careful as to not get caught in this. Is trying to get out on the other side and will do so. No one will be caught in the Killjoy ult. And it's Curry who's trying to lurk out on the A site. Where you've got Rockus playing in position in the back corner. This is big. If Curry can manage to pick up this kill on Rockus, it could spin this round completely in direction of T1, but with that, it flattens things out and makes it a whole lot more manageable for FaZe. Yeah, just trying to peek out towards mid against an opper, not the best of ideas. 
unfortunately there. And, and now Baby Bay is in a great position on the top of the balcony. They can still make it across for T1 and get a couple of kills with this toxic screen. It works out. Baby Bay falls and Brax is able to save his teammate. So now it's actually quite winnable now for T1. The trades are actually perfect. Satchel out. T1 somehow make the best of this. They get themselves on the site, but they're both stacked up towards the backside of Pillar. And now Skadoodle with just 10 HP and no real utility to fight against this. As the nade coming in, that shot wouldn't have made a difference should a nade come back online. But it does look like T1 wants to split push this. Oh, the timing on that is perfect, and that allows Baby Bay to get a punishing kill. That's smoke that That is the spike left back behind. Making things much more difficult for them. Now they are able to go back and scoop it up, but it delays things and slows things down, and it escalates the pace necessary for T1 to find their way onto the site. As Automatic gets vertical, FaZe punishes across the board. It is a seventh round for FaZe. T1 looking to gain access here to heaven. Got Rockus around the corner with a shotgun. Somehow, though, that shotgun isn't as valuable as it would typically be in that position. Slow knives coming out, just kind of like... And it still hits! Dishing damage, yeah, and he still gets Brax coming through from Baby Main. It, it kind of looked like he was toying with them, just looking for an errant knife kill through that smoke. There's the swing, though. Oh, but wow. A big flick from Baby Bay. It comes down to Skadoodle again. He's been in the clutch left. position before this time. It's a one on two with the spike planted on the B site. Not aware of this flank that's coming through. Has to force the fight towards spawn. Didn't matter which direction he went in, there was a player waiting for him. It'll be eight rounds now to just... To the long range to pick up towards the A-Heaven. And there's Cory just peeking out, and that's the Marshall gun. A-Trade going on. It's dodgeball up in heaven. <laughs> Meanwhile, over in mid, there was a lurk coming through. That gave them that flex potential to try to make their way down ropes if they need... ...is automatic to get these double satchel charges into the site to get the pull. But it's not paying off where... ...when they're playing so aggressively for phase. And this time it does, though, because they doubled up in terms of using uh, Curry's flashes and the Boombot yeah. to make sure that it take having control. And there you go, automatic two on the board. They needed to get those early kills and they found them. But the player they're really going to have trouble uh, dealing with is Baby Bay with that op. But as I say that, Rockus falls. Another piece of the defense removed. The final round of the first half looking good for T1. Five on two, and they pop the ult as well from Dawn. They've got Cosmic Divide. They've got Lockdown. Literally everything you could possibly want, plus player advantage. So Baby Bay just flies in with the shotgun, knowing there really isn't much of a chance to win this round. Corey is at least able to catch one up in heaven. Nade's going to go down into the back corner. Hoping maybe there's a Viper or even an ult hanging up back there. There's the fly-in with the rocket. It's a nice shot for the rocket on the Skadoodle. Hold on. Things are starting to look good here. Corey doing significant damage as he's brought it down to now. A one-on-two. Spike planted so for close. Corey, but it's not going to... As Baby Bay goes for the swing. And the site is in their control. Now, Dawn at least gets a little bit of a freebie on Rockus. But they will have site control and spike planted in just a moment. Baby Bay... In a difficult position, a lot of players coming toward that direction. Has to try to do some damage. Curry with the distance shot. That's a downtown blow from the frenzy. To hit that shot from that far away is impressive. Now Corey's all alone, and that turret's going to make things so much harder for them. Well, and there's the flash around the corner. Curry has to be careful as the day lands on top of him again in mid. Dawn stepping up big. That's a 3K and run to a site, but at least it could try to make it expensive. More phase. SMGs get away from them a little bit, but site is open and T1 has to play the retake again. We're almost seeing the same thing. Skadoodle to die first, Zachary to die from a mid battle against Dawn, and technically, if it turns out right, then T1 should be able to win this retake. These, they have the weapon advantage, but they're pretty low on util. They have the Seekers on the other side, there's flashes coming through, there's a snake bite, two satchels for automatic. The only thing they have is the snake bite here. 
as they start to make their way out onto the site. They're finding kill after kill. Corey is in position. But the spike's been tapped. He can get another kill here. There's a paint shells coming, but not going to be possible as Dawn locks down the line of sight. There's the ult to lead them in. Corey's just going to use the satchels to get back behind the gravity well that's waiting around the corner. I love this too. The flash is going to give them a false sense of security as he's on the other side of the wall. The nade also right on point with Skadoodle. He tried to go for a straight jump around the corner, but doesn't even get the lead in. It'll be site control for FaZe. Player advantage for FaZe. Trying to hit double digits as T1 has successfully thwarted the attack takes so far for FaZe. Yep. But now the setup looks good. Yeah, and they have pulse plan. This is pretty much game over right now. FaZe should be able to take this round unless the two players die on the top of E-Ramp. And it starts off there. Dawn first kill onto Baby Bay. Baby J's... Oh, actually he made it across. He's not being damaged by the snake bite, so he's in a great position. But in, in that time, the site's been lost. Now, this is the go. biggest problem. That's GG. Lineup City, double shot coming out. Will it land in time? No. Yep. Oh, there you go, it did. With the poison orb, I couldn't see it. We were watching the second one, so I thought that was the first that went out, but it was actually the C. Currently up on the other side of the site, on the other side of the Cosmic Divide. And they worked their way through. That's the big piece of it. The ult being popped by the Viper. Brax does find two in the backside of site. The turret might actually take care of that last remaining target on site as it dropped him down to three HP inside the Viper ult. Meanwhile in mid, got the defensive Viper ult and Baby Bay is actually able to sneak past it. Has to be careful though as there's a player right on the other side. Baby Bay trying to allow the HP to regain the pull and it happens. Baby Bay goes for the swing, but it's all up to... The other baby, Baby J, on the B site, has the spike. Time is a problem. 15 seconds left, and they're going to get so much information off that flash. Baby J does not have a choice. Has to go for the plant. The turret is going to go down to at least try and stop this, but that's a beautiful T1. Previously, a lot of their util on the B site was actually towards B main. This time, it's all up in heaven. Rockus gets caught on the other side of the wall, so that's an early player advantage. And a round where they've already got a massive weapon advantage. Oh, Baby Bay actually just got a nice pick on the Donna to be heaven. This opens things up a bit as the trades continue to lur lurk up, and we already have one in spawn. They could go back through ropes. There's still so much time. Baby Bay could go for a flank, get this kill onto automatic, and then you go into the A site. This is such a tough position. Nice ult, and it stopped. There you go. Yeah, that's huge. Catching automatic on the retreat as well as canceling the ult. That has impact in the rounds that follow. As they'll gain access to A, they'll plant the spike. It'll be a two on three. Numbers in favor of FaZe. There is a cosmic divide. And there is a lockdown in the hands of the defense. Nice trade to give them control of screens. This is very much winnable for Skadoodle. One on two. Player towards elbow is going to spot them out first. And now the walk around will take place. Zachary going for a little bit of a hike into heaven. Has the... And they still think that there's going to be people focused up on this mid site for T1, so you it's going to be run. a full... Oh wow, execute into the B site, and especially with Brax dying. Should be the round for phase. Now that ult makes things so much easier for them to gain access to the site. It pushes everyone back, and now Corey has gotten this great position. Dawn was not prepared for Corey to be that far up. And the remainder of the team gets ready to begin. They're going to make their way into heaven. Dawn is the first point of contact. You've got automatic down below as well. It's a great setup, but it's working out nicely for both teams initially. Trade's going back and forth, but it is going to be T1 who holds on. Here comes the play towards the A site as they fly in. No. Somehow, some way, the Odin does not connect despite the fact that it was point blank range. T1 that ha that round literally waited until the last second, but then they just exploded onto A, and it blew up in the face of Phase. So T1 double digit rounds, two away. The Odin purchase not successful. Yeah, I don't. After a promising defensive half, Ouch. things have turned a little bit. Baby Bay flies into heaven, gets an early pick. There's the right clicks and the dash to get away. That's huge. It's he doesn't realize there were targets right on the other side of that door. Baby Bay gets the dink through the wall. That's so disappointing. As the ult has now 
run its course. A weapon has been picked up. There's the Killjoy ult coming out as well. Lockdown. And let's see what they decide to do. Rockus is going to try to slow them down by dropping some util towards Elbow. And there's a Satchel just to escape, just to be safe. As they make their way out, that's the call. They've been pushed out towards Still Elbow. Bite, yep. I don't think that snake bite's on the spike, but at least it's close. Of phase, that was Ooh. actually specifically Baby Bay who is sending shots in that direction. Curry's still over towards sight. Things are starting to fall apart just a little bit. It's down to Dawn and Dawn alone, and that is a great... Automatic. Will be the first one to spot them, but somehow, despite that, it works out quite nicely. Curry on just one HP is going to be difficult, and the drone just gave away the position. The whole thing is blown up. There's the dart coming out. The swing from Brax, though, in the one-on-one, -on -one, and the jump peaks coming through as well. There's the recon dart to give away the position. The dart's been destroyed, and now Brax knows where this last player is located. It's all going to come down to this 1v1. It's SMG versus Rifle at distance as well, but Rockus is sitting on a full boat. It's going to come down to whether or not Brax can connect on a headshot first and send that crosshair flying with the dink. But Rockus is playing this so perfectly, so patiently. Head checking over the box is Brax, making sure he keeps an eye on which way he's moving. 55 HP, but Brax somehow able to make it happen. 55 HP, and he'll have enough time for the defuse as well. T1 just going in with uh, Phantoms, Vandals against full Spectres, with the exception of Brax here. No charges left. One of the things that's a little bit disappointing with that, how, how that last round played out, and we'll talk about it in just a second, as we are live here in this round, it's a three-on-three. Three. So, quick is the name of the game. We're down at a minute ten. We've already gotten to this point, Skidoodle. Trying to play this angle. That shock dart was right on the money, even if the rifle wasn't. Things looking good here. As they've gained access again to the A site, Corey gets vertical, goes up on top of the generator. And that's a massive advantage early, and there's the rocket going out around the corner, Curry! Bit of information, but they don't know that it's Baby Bay that got flashed there. If it's not Baby Bay, it's Corey doing the same thing. Like, Corey did it a few rounds ago, Holy flying into the A site. Here. He's playing hyper-aggressive. This is kind of what we expect to see. It's what we talked about coming into the series. Now, Baby Bay's knives really gained much control of the map here, seconds, and now right. they have to contest with one in mid. Curry's got this with some crossfire set up from Automatic. Mid. This is looking like a promising round for T1. And you understand for FaZe why they wanted to fight towards that guard. And Zachary does have Cosmic Divide. Curry has it on the other side. But it looks like they're just going to start things off with a good old-fashioned aggressive play from Automatic. Take control of Wine Cellar. Kill the door. Eliminate the possibility of any real threat from FaZe. This round is might see a kill here from Catwalk with Zachary. Yep, there's one and two. That's actually big. Some punishing damage being dealt. Oh, no. Might be able to catch oh. another one, but Baby Bay, or Baby J, excuse me, couldn't get the rifle under control. And if he can, towards the last few seconds of the half, and it, or should I say the round, sorry, and it's not going to pay up. Phase gains sight control, and it's a full five-on-five five retake. Players are still moving into position for T1. Yeah, I like it. This time they could actually afford to do this because Rockets could cancel out that ult right away. Yep, this is huge. This is what you were talking about. There's the ult cancel coming out. Counter ult coming in from the other side to try and connect. They're looking for more information, more damage to be dealt. Zachary playing close. Didn't get pinged out by the flying in jet. And it reduces everything down to the two remaining players here, Automatic and Brax. They're trying to make their way onto the site. One's already down there. Automatic on just 45 HP, though, tries to escape through Tree Room. And he will not be granted line of sight. Ooh, this is going to be a freebie. Baby Bay got caught on the rotate out, trying to head towards B. That's a big early pickup. And this might be another one here for Automatic, who comes in swinging with the op yet again. Oh. And that's a misnade. Whoops. Would have been a space gainer. There is a smoke down, but instead, they're just going to have to fly on out. And Automatic is really feeling it with the op right now. Sure, Automatic gets traded out by that's three kills on the round with the op. There's still a player on site that's going to be difficult for them to get past. One on stairs as well. That's very well. There's a Cosmic Divide coming out. And what are they trying to do with it? Curry tries to go on the other side and peek. It looks like they're just going to fly through this end of the site. Rax is in back sight. But 
can't contest with the amount of firepower coming in his direction. So Skadoodle left alone. Already downstairs. Oh my gosh, had an opportunity. And the shock dart almost does damage to Corey as well. But B site, somehow that spam just isn't where it needs to be. It was dangerously close. How Baby Bay is the first one to get into position is a little bit peculiar to me. Brax gets a dig shot from point blank range with the Odin. Baby Bay, or Baby J, excuse me, waiting around the corner. That's three. Baby Bay right around the corner. Oh, actually only able to get one, but that's the quick play. The heads up reaction from Baby J as the two babies combine. And Corey is already there on the back end of the play as well. Brax given away. Recon dart coming out. Trying to do some bloodshed here. It's sucked into the gravity well. And actually one in the end though for Vader. Like how they held the midside so well and T1 firing range towards his midside. Push out towards B main. Lots of info. And it's even up on a 4-4. Good. They're going to be spotted out just towards hell. Baby J moving into position as well. The dog flies out. They know where he's coming from anyway. But now it's up to Rockus. And Rockus isn't sure. Looking for that other player. Now realizes they're both in hell. A missed dart is a missed opportunity here. That's going to send them flying out, but it's... Fortune didn't pay off. T1 realizes that, and they're just going to press back forward and aggressively towards B main site. How Baby Bay is able to survive from that position is somewhat surprising. Really You've got some spam coming out. Zachary's on site getting caught by the pings, getting sucked into the gravity well as well. Zachary is in a really difficult spot, needs some support, but Zachary's the only one in that entire fight for phase that gets a kill. And Baby J now on the back end of it. Good now starting to gain control of Cat. That's what Baby scary. Bay could shut this down if he plays this right. Baby Bay right around the corner. One, two. That's exactly what we were talking about. Another one for Baby Bay. Now the spike is dropped. 23 seconds left. T1 potentially shooting themselves in the foot Round's by taking over. a little too long. Baby Bay has picked up a gun as well. Tosses it over to his compadre. They need to get this kill on this last player. Baby Baby Bay dies. He could actually run the lockdown as retake two. So this is actually really good right now for FaZe. This is yep. big. The big kills coming in from Baby Bay. They read that one so well, and there's Baby J and Baby Bay. One enemy remaining. The, the toddler baby. duo. Down to Dawn. And it is not happening. Ten they left. pulled everything out that they could. Dawn's going to do some damage here at the very least. Try to take a few players with them. Position, and it does. Rockus has to be careful. Now goes to the back side of sight. Look at the spam coming through. That's big. That's a huge pickup. Not only is that their flashes, but it's also the heal that they could potentially have that regrowth that could come in big. Rockets still backside sight. They weren't able to fully clear him out. As the drone coming through, there's the cosmic divide coming out. And that's going to make things... Hello? He's trying. Not really tracing the way that Rockets would hope. So spam is just going to be coming through, just trying to buy time. Can't buy enough. Zachary making their way through market. But that little picky has been taken care of. You can throw it towards tree and they fight up on tree side to make sure the lockdown doesn't come in after. I think Zachary is going to be the key here. Has to bait them into Corey. That's exactly what happens. And they can't get the nano swarm out in time. And it's all down to the last remaining player. We talked about the power of the op, but the op is the last one in. And impact has already been felt. Skadoodle has to fall back as the nade even and surrenders that amount of control over. Again, T1 keeping it close. They're not just giving up. That round looked like it may have been the end, at least based on the way the previous round went, but these just fumble away a couple of stairs. The swing has to be careful. Spots out the players, has an idea of how many are coming. I like this maneuver from Baby J and Baby Bay. The lockdown is B-Site. There's the dash out. It's Baby Bay and Baby J again combining on the B-Site. It's now down to one remaining player. It's automatic. The classic has to come out. With 40 HP and 30 seconds left, it's almost impossible, and it is.